Hi everyone, I'm Omar, product manager on Score Online, and I wanted to share a quick video walkthrough of how you can become ready to sell online with an emphasis on fulfillment and catalog. So before we dive in, I want to quickly provide an overview of what's actually required to be ready to sell online. First, you'll need to create a Squad Online site, which should be published and accepting orders, meaning that you'll need to go through identity verification. Second, you'll need to enable at least one fulfillment method, since you'll need a way to fulfill the orders that you sell online, whether that's allowing the customer to pick up the order or delivering or shipping the order to the customer. And thirdly, and where you probably spend the most amount of time is catalog setup. And I'll walk through each of these in the video later on, but in order to make sure that your items are properly visible on your online site, you'll need to make sure that the items are assigned to the online channel, set the visible, have a price, have a fulfillment method, and there are other attributes that are not necessarily required but recommended in order to have the best buyer experience, like a description, high quality images, and be properly categorized. For the purpose of this video, I'll be focusing on number two and number three here, since these are the areas that have the most complexity. Okay, so let's quickly go over setting up a fulfillment method. So as mentioned, you'll need to set up at least one fulfillment method in order to accept online orders, whether that's pickup, delivery, or shipping. And you can find those settings under fulfillment methods in the account and settings page and dashboard, and under the settings applet in your point of sale. So let's go ahead and enable pickup, for this St. Louis location. This will open up the pickup and delivery settings page where I can access all sorts of fulfillment configurations. For the sake of time, I won't go into all the details, but under pickup, the two most important settings to look at are number one, your prep time, which is the amount of time it takes you to prepare an order before it is marked as ready to be picked up by the customer or the delivery driver if you decide to offer delivery. And the second one, is your fulfillment hours, where you'll need to make sure that your hours are properly set so customers aren't assigned a pickup time that's outside of your store hours. And then under delivery, the main thing you'll need to decide is how you want to deliver orders to your customers, whether that's using your own delivery drivers or using one of our third-party courier services like DoorDash and Uber, also known as on-demand delivery. All right, and last but not least, moving on to item setup. So let's go ahead and create a new item that we'd also like to sell online. So I'll go ahead and add a name for my avocado toast and a price. And then if you recall, if I wanna make this item visible on my site, I need to make sure that it's assigned to the online site that I've already created and its visibility uh, set to visible. And finally, we'll also need to make sure that this item has a fulfillment method. So I'll go ahead and allow this item to be ordered via pickup and delivery. So now that I have these minimum requirements, I could go ahead and save this item and it will show up on my site. But there are also recommended attributes that you should consider to provide a better buyer experience to your customers. And this is where you'll need to consider that your items are not only visible to your staff, but will also show up on your online channels like your Schwa Online site, your kiosk, and other third-party channels like DoorDash. So first, we'll want to make sure that we have a proper description. Next, we'll add an image, which we know is very important to buyers when making a purchase decision and significantly improves conversions, which is why we have our Photo Studio mobile app to help you take high-quality photos and plan to eventually integrate it into the Square Point Sale app. And then finally, we'll also want to make sure that this item is properly categorized. And with that, we're done setting up our item for online. So when I go ahead and save it, it will show up on my Sway Online site. Keep in mind that you can also configure defaults for these attributes. So you don't have to apply them every time you create a new item. And we also have bulk actions to streamline this process for larger catalogs. And all of these item attributes that we've gone over when creating our item are also available in the items applet and the point of sale app, allowing you to manage your items from a mobile device or your square register. All right, and this concludes our demo to get you ready for Square Online. Thanks everyone.